It was 37 degrees out at Northridge. We're going up to Big Bear Lake tonight. Skies are mostly clear to partly cloudy. Can you believe how cold it's been? They say it's been the coldest week of the winter. Oh my God, I say if you go fishing, come home and make a fish soup. And if you're with me, I'm gonna show you how to make a halibut chowder. Here we go. Don't you just hate these cold mornings, especially if you have to get up in the morning and go fishing with your buddies. Oh my God, the first thing you do is you run for that thermostat and turn up the heat. and just try to join the human race and get rid of those shivers. Listen, I've got a solution, I've got a happy ending. Come home with some fish and make a fish soup. Or better yet, try my new recipe, this halibut chowder. Oh my God. Heavy cream, homemade croutons, fresh dill, potatoes, and best of all, white wine. I'm telling you, I love fish soup with white wine. And here's the best part. You get to drink a little, you get to cook a little. You get to drink a little, you get to cook a little. Oh, white wine is the way to go. And I use plenty of it. And this is a barrel fermented Chardonnay that comes from California. I absolutely love it. It's called Pacific Grove. Just love the stuff. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly. If this is the first time you're here, or if you're a regular, but you haven't yet subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you guys don't miss a thing. It's time for me to start cooking. I gotta go grab my apron, so let's get going. It's time to start chopping up the bacon and get going with this dish. Okay, now I'm gonna just cut it up into small pieces. And we're gonna render the fat out of this bacon and use that fat for our soup. And then we're gonna reserve these bacon bits and use it as a garnish on top of our soup. It's gonna be awesome, just watch. We're gonna render out a lot of the fat and crisp things up. In the meantime, I gotta start working on the carrots, the onions, and the celery. Okay, the bacon is looking perfect. Nice and crispy, perfect. Touch the salt. There's some salt. Crack black pepper. All right, gang, so it's time for the next step. And the next step is, of course, time to drink a little wine. Wow, I love this stuff. Anyway, the next step is to start cleaning and prepping my potatoes for this halibut chowder and this fish soup. And speaking of fish soups, I've got a link right up here to my very best recipes for fish soups and fish stews. I've got Asian, Latin, Mediterranean, and American classic fish soups. And this halibut chowder will fall under that category. So give that link a look-see and you might find something you may like. Anyway, time to get going. I'm gonna cut up my halibut and my potatoes about the same size. So that's the dice of my potatoes and that's gonna be the dice of my halibut right there. Okay gang, I've got my potatoes cut but I just don't need them at this moment. I've got to store them properly because they're gonna oxidize. They're gonna start turning yucky. We don't want that. So I've got a bowl of water and I'm gonna add a little bit of acid. I'm gonna add some vinegar. If you don't have some vinegar, take out a le half a lemon or a lime and squeeze it in there. And that's gonna make acidulated water. Oops, here we go. And then we'll put our potatoes inside of that and they'll be fine until we need them. Here we go. By the way, I cut up three potatoes. If you guys want the full recipe, it's on my website, fishermansbelly.com. Just go to the website, you'll find this new recipe under the halibut section. So the next step is I'm gonna start adding my liquids. I've got fish stock. 
When I make fish stock, I make a bunch of extra fish stock and I store it in my freezer in plastic bottles. So I've already taken my plastic bottles out. They're all thawed out. I'm gonna use four cups of fish stock. And if you need to have a recipe to make fish stock, right up here, I have got a recipe for how to make fish stock. It's in my basic soup recipe. Believe me, once you learn how to make fish stock, you'll always make fish stock. If you don't have fish stock, you can use, go to the store, you can get vegetable stock or even chicken stock will work. And now for two glasses of wine. And then we're going to add two cups of heavy cream, but that's going to come later. Okay, we're going to bring this up to a boil and then we'll add our potatoes. Oh, listen, I've got to add some bay leaves into this. Hold on. And here's some bay leaves and we're going to fish these guys out in a little bit. But bay leaves are very traditional in a chowder. I've got to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour into this halibut chowder, and that's going to act as a thickening agent. Now I'm going to take a whisk and just stir it up just on the top, because I don't want any lumps. OK, I'm all about multitasking. So while this soup is coming up to a boil, I've got two things i got to do. One is I'm going to start working on our croutons. And our croutons are merely sourdough bread. So I'm going to take a couple slices of sourdough. I'm going to toast them, all right? Get them nice and dry because I'm going to add moisture to them. I'm going to add olive oil. So I want the dry toast to be able to absorb the olive oil. If you just take ordinary bread and you put olive oil on it, it's not going to absorb it as much. So once I toast my bread and put some olive oil, some garlic, and some salt and pepper, I'm actually going to throw it in a frying pan and just give it a little more, mm, a little more caramelization. I'm going to turn it into a true crouton. And we're going to garnish our soup with it. I'm also going to dice up my halibut and get ready for that. So we're getting close. We're getting close to assembly time. So hang on. We're getting close. Okay, I got my soup coming to a, a boil. It's time to put the potatoes in and cook them until they're tender. That should take about 15 minutes, but we'll, we'll check. We're getting really close, gang. Here's the very last item, heavy cream. So this is about two cups of heavy cream. Here we go. Oh my God, oh my God, this looks so good. All right, gang, I've cut up all the halibut, and I really want the same amount of halibut as I've got potatoes. So that might be a little hard to do, you know, you don't know exact weight of your potatoes, exact weight of your halibut, but here's an easy trick. Remember, we had the potatoes in this container, and it was probably about mm, three quarters of the way up. So let's see how much halibut we've got. I think we're gonna be really close. Perfecto mundo. So we're going to have a balanced dish, right? The potatoes and the halibut will be in sync. Nothing will be out of whack. Too much halibut or too much potatoes. In goes the halibut. Okay, we're, we're close. This isn't going to take long. All right, gang, wait till you see what I'm going to do with this toasted sourdough. So, look at the size of this clove of garlic. I'm gonna take and rub this garlic. Wow, this is an old Greek Italian trick for bruschetta. I'm gonna rub this garlic all over the toast. See that, it's already starting to wear away. I'll get it on both. God, I can smell this. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, this is a great trick. And you gotta to toast your bread first. Now I'm gonna drizzle on some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Just check it out. Here goes the olive oil. Some salt. And some cracked black pepper. We're gonna cut this up into crouton pieces. And then throw it in the frying pan real quick with a little bit of butter. got my frying pan already going. I've got some butter in it. It's sizzling away. Just waiting for these. 
All right, while I'm at it, I might as well chop up this fresh dill I got from my garden, because we're gonna garnish with the croutons and the dill. In go the croutons. Into the hot frying pan with a little bit of butter. Oh my God, oh my goodness. It's time to assemble this thing. Come over here and take a look at what I'm gonna do. Okay, first the croutons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. And now the bacon bits. Remember the bacon? Oh my god. And finally the dill. And there you have it. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, so there you have it. A halibut chowder on a cold winter night. Oh my God. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you have any questions about today's recipe, please ask them down below. Or if you need any kitchen gadgets or some ingredients to make this recipe, I've got everything down in the description. Other than that, I can't wait to start eating, and by all means, Please subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.